Good evening and welcome to Squad Community Cup week number three. Hang on, it was week number four last week, but this is right, this is week number three because week number three was delayed uh, due to the um, slight issues uh, with the B19 release, therefore the week three matches did get postponed. Tonight I'm a motive meerkat. I normally am a motive meerkat anyway, however tonight I am him again and I'm bringing you Coalition Francophone versus high expectations low probability uh, we're on Mate Mutaha advance and secure v1 and we're just getting set up ready to go live now week number four was last week so it's only fair that I bring you some results just on your screen right now to have a quick look as you can see Misfit Platoon took a 3-0 um, win against help Band of Bastards 3-0 win against Huzaria and Eurivka Witnesses took a 3-0 win against Resting Places. We Love Squad Community and Coalition Francophone both didn't play last week, so they've had a nice easy week. And that looks like the ranking at the moment. Band of Bastards at the very top, Eurivka Witness at the second place, Misfit Platoon down to Coalition Francophone, Hazaria, Help, and We Love Squad, and followed by Rusty in Places. So. We're going to get live in the map we have loaded in and we'll talk about those results and those rankings a little bit more later on but now let's concentrate on the teams. I'm in the building. Right, let's get out of that building. So here are the teams. We have Russia versus the USA and we're going to be following the Russian team. Uh, which is starting off at the very bottom of the map and in the north we've got the USA team all ready to go vehicles that the USA team have are the um, Abrams tank that's delayed after 20 minutes the Bradley IFV the striker the free logi trucks the one troop transport which is delayed after six minutes the MRAP and it also now B19 brings it a grouse so it's the first map to have a uh, first time we're playing this map with a helicopter. For the Russians, we've got the T-72 tank, also delayed after 20 minutes. Going down to the BMP-2, uh, the BTR 30mm, that's the BTR-82A, the BRDM scout car, also has a MI-8 helicopter, the three logi trucks and the troop transport, also delayed after six minutes. First cap for the US is to get to compound, from compound, they're going to Main Street Blockade and across then to Police Station. All the way across to School and down to Vineyard. And at Vineyard, that's the first cap for the Russians. Now, having a quick look at Russians, they are very tightly packed into that small area. Uh, they're taking out all the vehicles. So they've got about, well, looks like three squads there uh, in, in that uh, helo. Uh, not sure what, what they're doing with all these helo markers, but yep. Lots of enemy helos there. They're taking out the 30 mil, the BMP, and looking at the US team, looks like, yep, yeah, they're going to take out all the vehicles as well. These vehicles are going to be very useful. Um, and that helo only got one squad in it. The the Russian helo looks a bit busier. Uh, the Bradley, uh, not very busy as well. And yeah, it's going to be a, an interesting, interesting uh, match. So, help, obviously. Uh, well, got some marks on the map. I can't even see where the marks are going. But I'm expecting and I'm anticipating a lot of fight, uh, fighting over the... I'm just going to quickly check. I have got my... Yep. I have got sound settings. Okay. So. That is the first... That is the uh, first team starting to get themselves set up. They haven't got a commander yet. They haven't nominated one. Have the help team nominated a commander? Yes, they have. Riot is going to be commander. He's in a three-man squad there. And we've got Mr. Zaya currently as the uh, SEC staff on the opposite side. He's just having a little fly around, making sure people are being good. So the timer has started. Now, I spawned in. Uh, into the admin cam from the very center because this is a big map there's a lot to see so we're just gonna uh, try and keep an eye on where people are coming in from and like i said i'm expecting a lot of fighting over police station um that's 
normally where a lot of the fighting goes and here's the help helicopter straight across the rooftops and Mut Mutahai is a very built up area lots of narrow little alleyways uh, for people to start fighting in however getting the helicopters into the right places can be a little bit trickier because you'll find that, that you've got trees just there we go that helicopter landing to the northeast of the police station but on the southwest, oh, Red Leader's killed two guys, so he looks like he's chopped their heads off as they've got out of the helicopter. And there we go. FRA have managed to get the... Let me just turn my headset volume down because those helicopters are a lot louder. Uh, so FRA managing to get their squad dropped off. They're in the cap already. Nice and secure. Sorry, just quick response to someone there. Okay, so um, Vineyard now currently being capped. It does look like um, Rush, the US team help were able to get there a lot quicker. Those helos just been having a little dance around with each other. And it looks like Delta Lucky is taking some fire, possibly from the uh, BM, uh, BMP there. Uh, sorry, the Bradley even. And we've got to remember now with B19, it does bring it in um, the fact that small arms can start to damage uh, these helicopters. And those helicopters can take tail rotor damage as well. And actually looking to the south, we've got a help uh, Logi truck. So interesting to see what he's doing. 30 mil and BMP already at police station and engagements happened here. Samzai is dead. Someone else was dead as well for the help team. Storia is dead. Eagle Fibs being revived by Serene there. So compound being taken by the US team. That is the first cap for them. And Vineyard still not capped for the Russians. Are we seeing Mortars land already? Always a nice sign. Oh, there you go. There's the commander. They've only just got the commander. So it looks like uh, the Coalition Francophone team may have forgotten that. Champ 4-5 dead in the top right corner there. And it looks like... I can't see the name. It looks like uh, Sergeant Julo is moving up there with uh, Karna there of Red Dog. Who make up the Coalition Francophone. Coalition Francophone, by its very name, is just a coalition of French teams. And apologies, I've not turned on the game sound, so now you can hear the game sound. So that's going to be a little bit delayed. Sorry about that, guys. And Coalition Francophone now managed to push the northwest. Uh, point of the uh, police station. They've managed to push help back away from the northwest. Just a little bit of a gap here, middle. And we've got help coming in from the south. You can see the blue. Oh no, it's just a blue triangle. It shouldn't be blue, but it is. Larry D. Ring and Matty Vondi in their striker. Looks like they're engaged with the BMP for a bit there. Now, question is have the help team got a hat there or have they not? Well, Gumbatron stood out in the open. Yeah, he's tracked the vehicle. So that has given 
away the position that they they have some presence down here. And that BMP is trying to take another lat shot and another lat shot. In fact, Jack there looks like he's avoiding this area completely, and that is the BMP down. That is the first vehicle down as far as I've seen. Oh, and CC takes out Jack. Jack was trying to avoid the combat with the BMP, and he takes out the Lodgy. He's taken out the tires. Jack's dead. CC's alive. That's a nice little tactic there from help and they have pretty much uh, come in from behind and as you can see from just having a look on this map it is very open you can see there's a couple of uh, coalition francophone guys starting to pull back and right now coalition francophone taking the cap on a police station there's only one ticket difference so this cap will push them a little bit further away So nice strong start by both sides, although help certainly do seem to be very stuck on that bank on the western side. Milkita, what's Milkita doing? All that smoke is, seems to be causing me some issues. Oh, Milky to get seen by Larry and who's it in there? Uh, Matty uh, in the striker. And we can see that uh, health start to move up a little bit. Walking Bread and CC. Walking uh, Bread makes a push. Takes out Ju Vlado. Limit is on the mead is going into the compound cc i don't think seeing him oh shot him over the wall and those mortars landing really nicely actually those mortars landing in the compound So there's no push from the west, no push from the north, but we can see it's sick 42 managing to push in. Looks like he could be on a radio there. Yeah, he's on that radio. That's going to be a 10 ticket loss for help. They probably know about it, I'm guessing. But uh, there goes Psychotic Kitten coming back. Saves the radio. Psychotic Kitten saving the radio. Now he's lead in. Bulldog managing to take out Azure there. They need to get that radio back up. That radio is blocking that have there so they cannot spawn in. So nice work there by uh, Sick. Um, just a shame that he, he wasn't just quick enough. And it looks like help moving in on this south side. Walking Bread calls Ingle, moving up on Storia Cadabra's position. But you can see, ooh, more importantly, Eagle, Fibs, and Alex. Now they, they can hear that radio. They can hear the radio, they know it's there. The hab is blocked, so help should know that they are there. So straight through the fob and they're on it. They're digging that down. That's going to be 10 tickets. 
No one's spawning in on that rally though. I don't think help have seen that. They're losing their hab. That is, that will be a shame. They're, they're not paying attention. The two uh, involved in that fight. I mean, Tiski's dead. Is he going to spawn on the rally? I mean, if you're dead, you're, you're, you're normally looking at the map and looking for where to spawn. That hab's gone. That radio's gone. That's a 10 ticket loss. That's just given an 18 ticket differential between help and coalition francophone. In fact, let's call it 20 tickets because that's it. No, easy. And Coalition Francophone very much getting out of this cap zone. The, 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 in fact, the cap is empty of all personnel. Now, this is the time for help to get in there. Are they going to do it? I don't know. They've got two guys here, Coolzingle and Walking Bread. If they get a third, they can push in, take that flag. If they can't uh, push in, then, you know, Coalition Francophone may see. Oh, crap, we've left that flag open. Let's get a couple of guys in it. But, more importantly, more importantly, yes, Coalition Francophone have lost or could, haven't uh, protected that uh, fob. Uh, sorry, not that fob, that flag. But Main Street Blockade, I completely had not noticed, but Main Street Blockade, they're losing the fob, they're in the cap zone, the Shadow's dead, so they're definitely capping this, and this flag is going to Coalition Francophone. Now, it's not going to be neutral just yet, but they're on that radio, that's going to be 10 tickets, and yet we can now see help starting to rush back. Now, if help can rush back, protect that flag, and also push police station, they could get the upper hand. But they need to do all of that all together really, really quickly. Ju Vlado looks like he's back near the cap zone at least. He certainly doesn't seem to be in it. Yep, but he's not in it. Oh, Rogue Zorn is in the cap zone. That that kind of makes me feel a bit more comfortable about this camp. You always want to keep one person in there just to keep an eye on it and make sure that it's all okay. Plenty of people there now. Now, John does seem to be near an enemy hab. Is he? I don't know. I can't see it. Where's the hub? Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay, really nicely tucked in. That's going to be great for the uh, UAV. You're not really going to see that very well. And uh, John taken out there uh, by one of the Coalition Francophone guys. Didn't quite see who it was. Uh, TJ Geek, though, he's down. Walking Bread and Kulzingle also taken down on that eastern side. Now, let's have a look at... Coalition Francophones push onto Main Street Blockade. Are help getting back in? Yep, they're in the cap zone. They've only got two people, and yeah, Coalition Francophone just pushed out a little bit too far. They need to keep three people above the number of enemies in a cap zone. So there's two there. They need to have five uh, blueberries in the cap zone to be able to get it. Now, Alexi Blade and uh, um, Pork to Gay. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, they can. Uh, if they push back in, then they should be uh, good to uh, cap that. Because all at the moment, it is just Samzai. Hood going down. Red Leader, Psychotic Kitten also going down. Looks like they've had a little bum rush too many there. And pushed in a little bit too hard. Without enough support. Stray Wanderer uh, coming into the cap zone. With a couple more guys on that south side. So they will be capping. Not sure what the percentage is. Oh, cool single down from Unpork there. And what's going on over here? Is that a little vehicle uh, skirmish? It looks like it. Looks like the Bradley's heading back. Not sure what Kev's shooting at. Shooting at the uh, Logi truck, maybe? So it looks like that Logi truck is the Logi truck that uh, the help squad managed to go to the south of 
police station. Looks like they're heading back just to get that support. And that's, that's a shame. They had such a great start, but it does seem that they're starting to uh, lose that momentum. Maybe they'll get it back. Who knows? Now that hab and that radio, they know where that is. Sic 42 or Sic 24, um, the numbers might be a bit mixed up there. But he, Sic was on that radio earlier on. He knows where the radio is. He even called it out as being accurate in the uh, team chat. So are help going to keep it there or are they going to pull it back? And it sounds like, uh, yeah, there you go, Sick42, sorry, that's his name. Uh, yeah, my French is not that great. Especially considering I studied it for in school. It's not that great. Oh, Kana moving up, uh, taking a couple of guys out. They found a hab that marked the hab. Dutch Shadow taking out Kana. Nice work there. Oh, Hood 42 is there as well. Overlord is in the hab though, or on the hab rather, and taken out by Hood 42. I didn't even notice him there, just kind of blended in. And caught from Red Dog, Coalition Francophone is pushing out. Now, just to uh, explain the uh, teams a little bit better, uh, Coalition Francophone is made up of uh, First, or One Shot Theory, and Rogue, Randoms, Rogue, and Red Dogs. And the help team is made up of smoking rifles, 66 Def Core Krieg, uh, Def Core of Krieg, sorry, and Fob Hunters. And uh, Fob Hunters recently joined the team due to uh, to replacing someone uh, that's dropped out at the very start. Okay, so help side on the northern road, or north of the road, does seem to be pushing the guys out. Uh, I think Alexi Blade is the only guy left in the cap. He is. Where is he? He's coming up, he takes out Johnny89. On a besoin du AP6 Main Street pour mortier. So what the hell go do? They're very spread out around the cap. They've got some people in on the south side, so that's good. They're defending that cap. Uh, right now, ticket score is 261 to 238, so it's not massively out there. It's not a big, um, you know, they're still holding on right now. And looking at that, there is literally one move, one person, one move. It's because his name's Semmove. There's one person on that hab. Let's see if he can... Let's see if he can do it. The tank is out. We can see the tank. Oh, there's the Russian tank as well. So we'll get some tank action. Let's see if they shoot each other. That'll always be fun. And uh, here's TJ Geek pushing for Semmove. Semmove taking him out. Nice gun control there. But unfortunately, outnumbered and uh, Lumid uh, managing to take him out. And oh, that's Zaya. There's the helicopter. Zaya doesn't make helicopter noises, unfortunately. And there's Miko. Yeah, 
also help. Imagine to get a fob. Sounds like uh, Miko is cheering them on. But it is that time of night where they do make a bit more noise than normal. Getting ready for bed. And nice takedown. That's a very nice takedown. That 30 mil taken out by the um, Bradley. And we got that tank just sat there, keeping an eye out. And where's the other tank? It's over there. So two ve vehicles versus one. I mean, this sounds like it should be in the US team's favour, but it all comes down to skill sometimes. Now there's only uh, two people. Oh, that Bradley getting shot. So Kyoka and Jack. Jack driving, Kyoka on the gun. And he's got two shots on that Bradley. And he... Oh, there is the tank. The tank's getting involved. Not quite tracked. A little, little bit of damage, not too much though. And just to confirm, yeah, that Bradley's down. Oh, and in the distance there, we see it was either the SU-25 or the A-10, uh, and I've got a 50% chance of uh, one of them being correct. So, oh nice, US team take out the T-72, and whether that was a testament to just better play or just better luck, I don't know. Certainly, taking out the Bradley gave the uh, Abrams crew a heads up. Did it make a difference having three people? I don't know. I personally prefer three people in the tank, I think it's just, you got more eyes. They only had two eyes, so could they see the tank as well? I don't know. Now Kev certainly looks like he's pushing on this area and uh, it seems like where help are pushing in from. So that's not fun for help. Oh, Kev's gonna flank Checky, is he? Checky hiding under the stairs. Oh, Crane runs around the corner straight into Kev's gunshots. Checky is now following him. And, oh, he didn't complete it. He's bleeding. He's found the hab. Checky, Kev still bleeding. Checky still following, and Checky now finishing the job. Great job, but that has given away the hab. They know where the hab is. And wow, we come back to this cap, Main Street blockade. We've got help, complete, almost completely wiped from the south side. There's no rallies, no nothing. We had like a full, almost uh, half a team there, you know, two full squads. And on the north, Coalition Francophone taking that back. They've got uh, help pushing in, the Kusingal taken out as he climbs those stairs. Now these stairs, they're covering them, Psychotic Kitten is down. And a little bit of revival going on, nice. So they're not watching those stairs too much, so they could get up there. So let's just have a quick review what vehicles we've got. We've got obviously uh, the MP down here, so he's still okay. We've got the uh, helicopter, he's going back and forth. The tank's gone, the 30 mil's gone. Uh, for the US team, the Bradley's gone. Uh, they've only got the striker, yep, they've got the striker. And they've got the tank. Uh, they haven't got any other vehicles. Oh. They've still got the helicopter. Now it looks like they're just not using the helicopter anymore, which is a bit of a surprise. And 
du cas oui pour ça Good Burn a rally up here for squad 4 of the Russian team It's a little bit too far away at the moment but you know he knows they're coming in from the north I'm guessing he's starting to move over there right now Oh, so that has got to be the A10. I didn't quite see it uh, clearly enough, but that's got to be the A10. Uh, it looks like Zaya's over here. Uh, it looks like Zaya's actually dead, but it's not. It's John. John's dead. Zaya's floating. Uh, John's managed to locate the hab, I'm guessing. And he has. That hab is gone. Did they get the radio? I'm guessing they did. I'm guessing they got it. Whether they go with that vehicle, or, uh, sorry, with the A10, I don't know. But here comes the helicopter. Drop it off a radio, guys. And there we go. Back up. Back up. Dropping supplies, they're resupplied, they're. It's a minor delay. Now, if we look. That action has left that flag open. Right now, that helicopter needs to, you know, the, the US team needs to get that helicopter or get a quick vehicle, and get over here and get into the cab, because they could take that. You've only got a couple of guys, there's some very open positions, um, if they can just get a couple of guys pushing around. And they're very much fighting on the back foot. They're defending, they're going into like, crap, we're losing, we need to pull back. I get that, but sometimes the best defense is a good offense, and they need to get their asses over to that flag just to take some of the pressure off of here. Coalition Francophone just keeping that pressure up, and here we go. We've got the uh, BMP2. Now, BMP2 carries a Cornet. That Cornet is a wire-guided missile, and Let's be honest, it could just fuck up that tank for them. So let's see if he's going to use that. He seems to be hugging the uh, slightly, and it's only ever so slightly uh, higher ground where he can over here. He is hugging that. They're looking for him. Ils sont nord nord-est d'un point. Is he gonna see him? Uh, oh, right, now's a good time. We can see uh, the arse track. is just pointing. There we go. There is the Cornet. It hits. It hits. They are down to, uh, what's that, about 50% health? What a great shot. Fifty, sixty percent. T'as quoi comme limite? Limite. Il y a une squad sur sirène. Not sure what they're doing. Forwards and backwards. All I can say is that is going to be the next. Staying very straight, that is just the neck, the weight for the next um, corner just to come flying across. Right now, the, that game, the game is 179 tickets to 157. They're doing well, they just need to, you know, both teams do very well, but that lead's just only getting bigger slightly each time. And there's a tank picking out. I'm guessing it, um, he's going to head back to main and he's probably going to just get himself repaired back up before he even starts thinking about it. But there you go, Striker just trundling along. Is this another. Come on, BMP. You going to kill him? Nope, they're on the move. Oh, Striker's off to go find them. That's it. I can see him. Striker's got to be able to see him. Well, that's it. Show your ass as well. Come on, guys. Not sure what you're doing here. I think they were trying to be the juicy target to kind of uh, show where he was. Is 
This is a really nice position. That tank hasn't gone back to main. That's a really nice position. If, if the gunner can see, and I don't think he can, that's a really nice position. So, tank is still around. So the Mozzie's going back and forth, so's the striker, striker's still around, striker's even got his ass to where the BMP is. And it looks like, yeah, this cap is very much becoming... Yeah, it's Russian. It's Russian. That's just taken... Uh... Right, when did that just get capped? Was that just that? Yep, not so long ago. So, Coalition Frank Frankfurt back up to 190 tickets and help at 113. This is the next flag, as you can see, we've got uh, El Julo, or Hel El Hulo, El Julo already over here. We've got a couple of the FRA guys and the help. Hilo is back out. Very open. Help not in there. Oh, there you go. FRA jumping in. Although Reaper's moving in. Is he going to see him? Remember when a cap's. Uh, oh, sorry. Hit the mouse there. When a cap is empty, uh, devoid of enemies, and it's an enemy cap, it only takes three people to cap it. And Reaper seems to have a good position, but I mean, it's only going to take a nice little headshot from El Julo. Is he going to do it? Oh, kill Reaper. Is he going to die? Nope. El Julo is going to die himself, or El Julo is dead. Unlucky, mate. Now, just a quick look over here. Oh. Okay, the Bradley's still alive. The tank is still alive. Looks like the tank's even been repaired or is being repaired. And it looks like Limid, uh, the squad lead, is just pushing out just to, you know, have a little nosy around, see what's going on. Help now just under 100 tickets. There are 95 tickets. Are they capping back? Not yet, but they could. That cap is empty. They need to get three people in. Walking breads in the cap zone. They are capping. They are capping. Looks like help have managed to draw the coalition of uh, francophone guys to the south. That's left the guys to just walk in from the west nicely. Uh, starting to cap that with four guys. So possibly could be a turning point if they cap it. The ticket difference, so just to show you very quickly, uh, the ticket gain is plus 30 tickets to the people that cap it, and a, a negative 30 ticket loss, or a 30 ticket loss rather, to the uh, the team that you cap it from. Now Zorn heading back in. Oh, Crane's dead. They're still capping. If, uh, sorry, Zoom even uh, can get into that cap zone, he will stop it. Psychotic is dead, so the cap's not going to happen there because there's only two versus one in the cap zone. Coalition Francophone have four people in the cap zone here, and it's growing, so Compound is definitely uh, being capped. 
definitely being kept. It needs help, needs to really take advantage of this open cap. And looks like the help are just getting a bit confused. They're getting stuck down in the uh, off, yeah, I mean, off the point. I mean, there's even a little fight with uh, Senmove and Asler over here. Perhaps Senmove, he was hunting for Fobs earlier on. Maybe that's what he's doing now. I don't know. However... Kana was on the hab. Ooh, that ha that radio very open. The radio marks accurate. They could take that radio out with mortars. And if they do, I tip my hat to them. That'd be a good, good job there from the mortar team. Not sure sure who has actually been on the mortar team today. Um, don't even know where they are. Oh, there they are. So Delta Lucky, uh, possibly him at, uh, and other people, perhaps. I don't know. Yep, Bon Le Mortars. Good mortars. And that hab's just getting hit there, so that's going to be roof off in a second if they keep getting the, the mortars there. Help still spawning in. They're not concerned. They spawn in, they push out. Um, they need to get into this cap because they are losing it right now. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, not showing us anything at the moment. There go, they've just neutralized. So they're capping. And this could be a big blow. They're going to lose this. It's, you know, free. Gonna be down to 33 to 200 tickets. The building's a bit more. That sounds like that sounds like is that a tank? No, it's the tank's fine. That's the BMP dead. Ooh, nice job there. I think the tank took that out. The tank's looking in bad shape though. They need to get that ship repaired. And well, that's what they're doing. So nice job there from the tank crew taking out that vehicle. Although I think a little bit too late now, and there go. Oh, that radio's gone. I I can only assume that that radio's gone due to the mortar. Sorry guys, I, I missed that. I missed the tank, and yeah, that, that's bad news for help. No help. Stop the cap. Yeah, help for taking that cap back. Taking compound. Just going to move away from this because it's affecting my FPS. There's that artillery. Uh, and it is a uh, creeping barrage there. Uh, look at that. Coalition Francophone on the hand to the west of the uh, central flag. Uh, not central flag, but the uh, blockade flag. So that's going to be another 10 tickets gone. Let's have a little zoom in. Yeah, first overlord. Digging his little heart out. He's also a combat engineer as well, so he gets the faster shovel speed and away he goes. He doesn't need to waste a C4 on that, he's got enough guys there to help him. Maybe Tiles dead near the camp of the Main Street Blockade. Um, Sen move, Champ, or 5 moving in. But help at this point are so spread out, they just need to concentrate and hold on to what they've got right now. Twenty six tickets. So that's one cap. As soon as they lose that cap, they're still bringing vehicles out though. Yeah, bad, bad form there. Um, 
don't know the talking or a chat. Um, you know, that, that's, that's what the uh, Discord channels are for. Um, yeah, bad form to chat in uh, all chat. There we go, Zaya stepping in to, um, to give him a slap on the wrist. You know, it's, it's nice to share these moments with each other. Um, Overlord there, about to burn that rally. Doesn't know, but he's about to. There we go, rally gone. It's always nice to share these moments, but that's what the disc order there for. In the match, you want to concentrate on what, focus on what you're doing. A lot of guys here. And 20 tickets. Help very close to that uh, coalition francophone uh, had. I mean, if they get that, it's going to take them down 10 tickets. It's going to just... they. Help really need to make sure they don't waste any tickets. They need to try and get rid of as many tickets as possible from the Coalition Francophone team without giving up so quickly. And the only reason to do that is if they can win the next round, they could win the game just by having it more tickets than the other team. Down to 125 tickets. It looks like they're on a clear up duty right now. So that, that would have been a Lodgy that just disappeared. Or uh, a scout car, perhaps. Let's have a little look. Yeah, None of those vehicles, really. And there you go, you, you can actually see that uh, there's a lodgy on fire, so definitely very close to uh, 18 tickets. So I'm guessing John, Walking Bread, they're looking for fobs, they're looking for people. If they can take the people out, great. Hopefully it's a, you know, they give up and they get to then respawn, uh, wasting that one valuable ticket. But we can see Coalition Francophone getting some more guys in here, to be fair. Not doing too bad at keeping the pressure up on the compound. Mortars doing a great job. Bradley. A Bradley sh uh, shooting at some people. Before he's shooting at a, uh, at a lodgy then, but no. Tank is there as well. Let's hope for help can keep them. Oh, and we've got a creeping barrage. Towards us, I think. Or away from us, actually. No, it's team kills. There are team kills. So these team kills are from the friendly commander, Bloodstorm. Which way is this going? Oh, it's going uh, west to east. Okay, yeah, different. I'm not sure why. Maybe we've done it straight over the compound, but yeah. I mean, Walking Bread's found a radio there, but he is dead on it. Dutch Shadow needs to stay alive. That is the end of the uh, artillery. Hmm. Okay. Possibly T killed just in, uh, as many people as he did uh, enemies, but we'll see. So, nine tickets left, single digits now, 116 to 8. Dutch Shadow's down, so John is... Is that John? Is he alive? Looks like a John. Yep, that was John. Oh, he's just given up as well. That's a shame. That's a, a ticket wasted. 116 tickets left. Gumbatron dead, Stray dead, Clamosaur dead. Samir dead. So many people dead, but the Coalition Francophone team doing a great job. They've got dead, but they are reviving them, and every revive is just like, you know, they're getting impure up now, Serene. 
let's let's just actually have a look at these revives. I mean, certainly the kills, 196 to 148, so far so good. Three tickets left. We've got um, 75 revives to 97. So help do an amazing job on the revives. I mean, I've seen people give up, but actually throughout the entirety of this match, they've been making sure they get those revives, and that that's a really crucial aspect to this game. Two tickets left. And it does look like it is going to be zero tickets. Oh, compound neutralized just as it goes to 150. And that's probably a good call. They probably said, right, give up. Let's call it quits so they don't gain that extra 30 points. What a great game. Really good first start. Let's grab some scoreboards. Which reminds me, Zyra, I need to get some scoreboards over to you. And there we go. So there's the scoreboards. We're going to be taking a five-minute break. We'll be back very soon. Um, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have... Well, not hopefully. We're definitely going to have the uh, second round. So stick around, guys. Hopefully about five minutes. Shouldn't be too much longer. And we'll be back very shortly. See you soon, guys. And welcome back, guys. This is round two of Squad Community Cup, season five, week number three. Don't worry, you've not travelled back in time. This is the correct order of things. Four becomes uh, goes before three. Last week was season four. Uh, sorry, week four, not season four. I can't even. I don't even know what I'm doing myself. But uh, yeah, last week was all about week four. Uh, week three was uh, got postponed due, just mainly due to the um, due to the B19 uh, problems. And let's just mute the game comms for you a sec. So, this is uh, week three, kind of getting uh, played now. We've got Co Coalition Francophone, currently playing as the US team in the top of the court map. And we've got the help team, high expectations, low probability, on the Russian side. And that's the side we're following. So, just to shout out on the vehicles, uh, allied vehicles. So, uh, the Russians have a... Uh, T-72, uh, delayed after 20 minutes, the BMP-2, uh, which is there, being used straight away, the 30mm BTR, the BRDM-2 scout car, the MI-8 Hilo, remember B-19 brought Helos to Mutaha, Mutaha, and that's the map we're playing on tonight, advanced and secure V-1, then we've got the free lodgies and the troop transport delayed after 6 minutes, and they are taking all of them. Their first flag is going to be Vineyard, over to Vineyard, uh, and then on to school. From school, they're going to go across the police station, which is where I expected the big rush to happen. I expect it this time. However, what I didn't expect in the last round was that there was going to be more of a, uh, you know, that Fr Coalition Francophone were going to push onto Main Street Blockade, and they did that successfully. So, Main Street Blockade is the next cap after the center flag, and that then leaves you with Compound being the final flag before the US base. US team taking out all the vehicles that they can, and quite right so all those vehicles are really useful and really well played 15 seconds till map live and ooh, i'm hoping for another good game now talking to zaya uh, zaya is the other uh, admin cam uh there he is over there in the sky and Talking to Zio in the break, um, you know, he, he was giving some feedback. He said, you know, the help team, that their combat engineers did a, an exceptional job. I, I saw that John was one. Uh, I think Sen Move might be a, might have been another. But they seem to have been doing a great job in taking down the Habs. Um, but the, the help has such a great flank on police station. I was, like, even surprised by it. Those teams now setting off. Obviously, I'm going to be in the centre. Um, just... It's the best place to be, really. And we're going to just keep an eye out for any of those guys that are moving in. Uh, we're just going to see where these helos are going. These helos, real game changer, gives you the opportunity to get to the center flags really, really quickly. Uh, and even beyond. And it looks like both teams certainly pushing. Oh, landing on the bridge. Nice work there by FRA. Help is on the south east side there. Rogue Delta Lucky is the pilot and he's just decapitated three people. Um, that's uh, going to require a couple of medicings at the moment and it seems that um, the US team already lost one flag uh, so one of those guys must have 
completely dived. And here comes that uh, scout car. Delta Lucky already going to find where the enemy healers at. And there you go. Oh, some good shots there from Reaper. UK Reaper, it looks like. The helo is already taking some damage. And Red Leader just hovering around. So some great work there. Now, turning back to the Cap on Police Station. And we can see Help already taking engagement. And Help actually rather... Um, Outstanding on them wow. Wow. Like, yeah, uh, like FRA have, have, have got like you know two thirds of this cap already. Uh, yeah, you know, the, the if you look at the what, what's on the screen, that they cover two thirds of it, and you got help up in the top right corner there. I've just noticed, and they're they're already fucking up help over there as well. Striker on me. Striker on Tiski squad four. And TJ Geek. It's just like having a bit of a storm. Taking out Wolf there, it looks like. Yeah, he's taking out Wolf of White Frost. Walking Red. Nice to take him out. Nice work there, but a little bit too late. Oh, oh 30 mil dead. Now D Ring, Matty Vandy. That is a shame. That's happened so quick. And that's been taken out yeah, by the, the Bradley the at the very, point. very top of the map there. Just at the far end, you can see Zaya bouncing around in the sky. And that's over where the uh, that uh, BMP2 is. What a great start there from the Coalition Francophone team. Now, looking at the cap, uh, I, I kind of misspoke. Um, help do certainly have that cap secure, but what the don't have is all the surrounding compounds, uh, which is what we saw that uh, Coalition Francophone did. They started pushing through and uh, taking control of really what, everything you can see on that screen in that kind of quadrant of uh, the police station island. Um, you know, they, they kept those help guys on the uh, opposite bank and really did them push in. Sick 42 was combat engineer last round, I think, or he's certainly going after some. Uh, some fobs. We've got a couple of guys. Nice. I've seen something. I'll tell you later what that is. Enemy have to the south. Police. Enemy have to the south. Of police. Really. So. That seems to be a bit of a problematic mark. There's definitely not a hab there. And this flag help really not holding on the just helo supply, bringing in more supplies, I'm guessing for the fog. I don't know what he's doing, he's even just left the edge of him, he's getting out himself. He's, he's gonna... So he's just concentrating on something that he can't really see, but there's so many infantry around him. Looks like he's trying to shoot the helicopter, but he's just completely ignored a couple of guys that are just pushing past him. Psychotic killing and gets up, he's just gonna get shot. And uh, Main Street blockade has been capped. And that means police station is the next flag to cap. However, neither team are capping it because they have equal number of people in there. Uh, 
and it should be going to the Russian team any moment now. Yep, Russians. Sorry, I say Russians. Uh, I think it's red Russians. That's that's bad. But it should be going to the US team, the uh, from Coalition Francophone guys who were playing Russian first round. Yep, there we go. It's being capped. So FRA, they have the upper hand if they cap this. Lots of people around the camp, just not enough people getting into that minute, camp. We need as many bodies as we can to attack the police station. We're just having a so look. Right is command here, Malachi is command for the, the, the FRA team. Confirm that we're taking police station first. And Major Bentley to three. Squad 4 is regrouping on half to then poli uh, push police. Good job, this game. Update, you are overrun. Yes. Grand oh, location in the river. So this had very much overrun. Such an open radio. I mean, from right, the. Get this second hab up from Sunday, please, because one hab ain't going to be Bradley to be. Roger that, go for it, buddy. Cheers. Not Spray. sure if they're just going to keep it there. I've got a same move about to push that hab when it neared the champ. Can the champ help him in? Same move, my car engineer. And John is on a fob. They don't realize it. Yep, that radio is going down. That's going to be a 10 tickets. There you go. First stage down. Hab is disabled. And oh, he's off. That means boom. And just in the nick of time, that radio is down, that's 10 tickets away from Coalition Francophone. And Coalition Francophone doing a great job, they're just clearing through this compound. Oh, Alexi Blade there to greet the guys. Cool single just running straight into him, just blind. British Bulldog taken out. Mr. Moose. This is going to be a terrible uh, drop if they if they lose all of them. Mr. Moose just sat there waiting. Yeah, he seems to have got him in that weird crawling shooting situation. Wow, that nearly could have uh, cost them 10 tickets. So there's 32 ticket difference right now. Oh, who's up to this? Oh, this is a help fob. Sykes just camping it. Oh, Hugo spawns in. He's dead! Look at that. Oh, what? It just... Look at this mess in here. Yeah, oh, gonna, Sykes, you animal. Oh, Stray Wanderers coming in. Samir's just spawned in. And he's dead. Oh, Sykes. Another one. And Bulwark's down. And Johnny89 spawns in, isn't dead yet. Sykes taking out Stray Wanderer. And Johnny, Hugo Boss comes out. Hugo Boss, I think, just ran straight past him. AOD's in. AOD taken down by the pistol. Matty's there. Hugo's.
takes him down! <laughs> oh my god! What is his score? Oh, what is Sykes doing? Where is he? I want to see how many guys he's down there. There he is. 15 people! We're 15 people and we are only 15 minutes into the game. Oh, help, you got rinsed. That hab was a meat grinder. And there we go, police station is... Oh, my frames have gone. Sorry, guys. My frames have gone, but uh, police is currently taken by the uh, by the US team. Let me just quickly see if I can uh, see if I've done something in my graphics recently. I don't really want to change too much stuff. Striker, main road, marking. Accurate. Okay, we're just going to give it a few moments. Sorry about this, you're going to have to see a PowerPoint presentation. So it does seem like my, um, e even the uh, internet is going a bit funny for me right now. I'm just going to stay, tr try and stay as, as, as stationary as possible. There we go. Uh, yeah, ping's uh, okay. Yeah, Rinse, Rinse I seem to be coming back. Rinse Everything seems to be okay. And then, uh, double hit by lats, so we got fuck. And the A10 down to its sticks. E6 has supplies. Roger. So lo lots of communication. Is it good communication? I'm not sure. Is it bad communication? I Again, I I'm not sure. But it does, it does seem a little bit busier. And my FPS has gone oh, again. Let's see if I, I go in low is going to help. Come to school. There's nothing else we can do on police. And that radio looks like it's going to be found by Overlord there. Okay, all squads. Oh, the back. Russian helicopters there as well. We've got a lodgy coming in from the north side of school. Watch that. We're setting up uh, west side because we've got guys coming over the river. Advise, we've actually got two lodges coming into school. One south, one north. Squad four will spread out to the north of school. Okay, so F, my frames seem to be. Back, that's good. Not sure what was going on there, um, but looks like help very much done a nice retreat over the river, ba uh, back to to school really. And looking on the map, there's just no one around. Those tanks should be spawning in in the next one minute or so. Oh, and here's one of the strikers. And there you go, they've even called it out in command comms. All squads be advised there is a striker south of school close to Rally Point. Should I send my hat over? We have a striker is on the hab at school. 
Oh no, this striker's already here. Squad force pushing back to support point. Here comes Coalition Francophone. It's already taken out British Bulldog and Mr. Moose is. Although AODXD in the field. HUD 42 has been bypassed. The He's been pushed through already. Stray Wanderer down, Wolf of White Frost, and Zero is down. Try to send one or two guys on police station, like half a fire team perhaps, to keep them entertained. Oh, nice shot by Beast there, taking out Sick 42. Uh, at least someone should piss him off. Uh, it's 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 apparently you just shot one of my guys. If we send some guys there, they don't know it's a. Uh, Not yep. sure what those comms are about. More people back. Apparently, someone uh, friendly I'm shooting, a but. Mortars, right? I mean... We're going to start pinging them this west side. Stop pissing them off. Oh, that yeah. Idea, mate? So, there are the two tanks, right? So we know where the tanks are going to be. Boys, I do have cast available on the right of the UAV. Having a look, see what happens. See, I can't see anything in a minute. So we'll keep an eye on these tanks, they're a little bit too far out at the moment I think to, to be doing anything exciting, so we're just going to stick with this infantry action. Alexi Blade completely just gone past everyone. Overlord just sneaking through those um, through those alleys and, and straight into the field, he's almost in the camp. Have the uh, sappers of compound heard Ooh, the he dies just as he goes into that cap there. Bradley hit with half Oh! Let's go oh, have yeah. a look at these tanks. The two tanks that have engaged and they're, they're literally like barrel to barrel. The US tank looking a lot, sorry, the Bit Russian the tank a lot worse off right now. Right now. Right now. Not sure why they're using the uh, gun, but there we go. The Abrams taking out the T-72. Oh, but the T-72 looks like it's having an ammo cook-off. And the T-72 down as well. Now, only we know that. And the, obviously the Americans, they know they lost the tank. But only we know that. So they're going to be concerned. They're going to think that tank's still active. Where the hell is it? That could really, you know, cause the uh, help teams to just really change how they uh, leave that main base, how they approach it. They might even send more vehicles over there to try and find it. So where's the Bradley? Oh, there he is. Right next to the wire. Oh, and it looks like the Bradley is just a, a, a stationary gun emplacement at the moment. He's got no tracks whatsoever. Uh, oh, Lemise just like shoots his friend in the face. So Storia dying to Lemise shots. It looks like Impure trying to help get this uh, vehicle back on its feet. Rockets coming in from Z Sam Zaya and possibly AODXD. And vehicles on fire, so they're going to lose this, I reckon. One more rocket. Oh, Sam Zaya down. If he's going to shoot a rocket, he misses opportunity. Was he a lap? Yeah, he was a lap. Not sure what the 
Oh, you just missed that opportunity. And Bradley limping out of there. What a shame. Oh, striker though. Dead. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Would have been better taking the Bradley out. Gentlemen. Yes, sir. Fellas, we need to pull it in nice and close, stay within the blue circle. We're going to defend this with two squads and one more not attacked. Okay, so they're talking about attacking. I don't see anyone attacking. And poor Jack, he's still out there with his friend. Hey, uh, they jumped out of the tank. I'm not sure. So apparently, Bulldog Squad is gonna go and do the offensive, but I'm not sure what they're doing. That's what I meant by the half. And those mortars not quite in the cap, uh, not really landing on the right places. Not far off, but they're, they're just a little bit too far to uh, actually take out some of the en enemies. So the south side probably would be the side that I would attack from. It's very open. Reaper running against the mortars there, um, taken out after two mortar hits. I think he probably tried to catch one. Oh no, I'm sending my engineer with you. Watch that, run. And Kev straight into that cap zone, runs up. We've got some help guys, you know, looks like they're just dragging people. No, they're just they're healing. Kev the hat, is he going to jump on one of them mortars? Oh, there's smoke mortars. Well, apparently there's millions of Coalition Francophone players south of the HAB. Well, the HAB is kind of just at the bottom of the screen there, and apparently there's millions in the north, uh, in the top part of the screen. Help going just below 100 tickets. There's a massive, massive difference right now, and help just really playing a lot more defensively. I don't see the aggression. I mean, I heard that Bulldog. Uh, was gonna go. Oh, okay. So they are going out. The Habs overrun. That's not good. Oh, they're over. They're everywhere. Oh, Riot. He's the only one in the building. They're digging. Riot clearing that Hab. So here comes 16 3. Oh, right, running up the stairs, dies, 16-3 takes the lead, and the flag is going, it looks like it's about 50% right now. Just to have a look over here, that's 
you know, it would be wrong of us not to see this uh, push. Send move already just bombing out to uh, a random direction. Tesky, just do it. So they've got that fob, but as you can see, as you can see, the, 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 these uh, FRA guys, Red Dog, Rogue, they're, they're just pushing over. They heard the helicopter, they saw the helicopter. Um, yeah. Now, if it was me, I would have maybe done that, dropped one person off, then gone to the northeast, uh, and dropped the rest of the squad off. Just That's ha it, maybe how I would have done it. So, there you go. The flag is neutral. Yep. Oh, got vehicles shooting each other. Well, kind of. We've basically got the uh, BMP shooting a striker. Uh, not a striker. That's a Lodgy. It doesn't even look like a striker. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're doing. <laughs> Serene just hiding behind. Larry just... Slowly reversing it. Uh, oh, my that mortals. Still there. We have infantry. We have, we have placed it here. Sorry. Just took a hit. No Just... engine. Infantry need. We can't do anything. No, oh, that's not good. Serene just killing all the guys. Matty's stuck there does he get out does he stay in what does he do no one knows uh he's going to make a decision and um oh he made a decision he didn't do anything um because he couldn't do anything and lamid in the bradley sent a toe into him that's 15 tickets now to help help are very much losing this round and Coalition Francophone very much playing very aggressively. They have the first win. They're pushing hard. They're going to take it all the way to the first flag again. They've got the other flag. They're pushing down here. And, you know, there's only three people here. They've already got uh, Kyoko. Kyoko already kind of pushing into the cap from a completely open area. I mean... You know, it's a good job there's not a hab over that little hill, because uh, what would be coming over the hill? Literally, Coalition Francophone, if they could. They're just going to storm this last flag. Are help going to keep them away? They are, but help are pushing out too far. There's too much distance, and they're just leaving some big open holes. Um, but they can't do a lot, because as soon as they die, they can't give up. They've got to get revived. Having a quick look at the revives, they're pretty much on par. Help certainly leading in the last round with about uh, what was it 90 revives. FRA with 63. I mean they're, they're literally the same here. Coalition Francophone stepped up the game. All help have just kind of lost a bit of spirit in terms of the first round and, and just not quite getting those revives up on par. Kills for kills. The, the FRA have almost got double. Um, in fact, they have got double the number of kills, uh, confirmed kills, so are people giving up too early? Who knows? There's it's lots that could be happening there. Sure 
And there, Kyoko engaging, taking out the commander. Commander's worth two tickets, remember. That's not uh, that good if he dies. You want to get him back up. And Kyoko down. So hopefully they're going to get the guys up and just save those tickets. Twelve tickets left. And we're going to be going into single digit ticket counts shortly. Just a quick look on the map. So John, combat engineer for help, was over here. I think possibly he has taken a radio down. I'm not entirely sure. Don't forget there is ticket bleed. I have completely forgot about that. Ticket bleed here. One ticket per minute. So regardless of what happens, even if help just hold here, they're going to lose because they're losing a ticket each time. Eight tickets left, 239. This second round has been played so, so strongly by Coalition Francophone. And perhaps this was the round that they really wanted to concentrate on. Maybe they prefer the guns, maybe the guns have a better advantage, but they certainly did well with the vehicles uh, as the US team. Let's just check, is that flag being capped? I don't think it is just yet, no. They're about one to one on the ratio of people. More guys coming in as well. Six tickets. And that sounds like right, so he resigned himself. I mean, they're on the half, they've just uh, killed beasts. He spawns in, he dies. Send move takes one of the guys out. Another spawned in, Dutch Shadow, four tickets. Hopefully they're not giving up, because if they give up, like when you get shot you can, uh, and you can be revived, can. you don't... <laughs> not sure what that's for. Um, but, absolutely don't blame Meerkat. Um, compare the Meerkat, don't blame the Meerkat. And there we go, four tickets gone. That's 237. Such a horrible defeat on that round. Coalition Francophone very well played with a 352 ticket win. All three points go to those guys. And let's just grab those screenshots as we see. Just Why the fuck have they got loads of single man squads? I have no idea. Oh, I did get the end there. Sorry. Um, but yeah. That, that was such a great game. They, apparently they had some single man squads. I'll, I'll see if we can get those uh, screenshots of the, the lower squads. But we've got the main of it. We, we know that, you know, Coalition Francophone, they, they just they just outplayed them. Uh, they outgunned them. They just did a great job at making sure that, you know, whoever they needed to kill, they just killed them. So that goes uh, three points to Coalition Francophone. And, yeah, I don't know what more to say. Help had such a great start. Um, it's just a shame that they, they couldn't pull off that first round. And I, th I think that perhaps maybe that knocked their confidence. Just to have a quick look at the ranking. I mean, with uh, Coalition Francophone earning three points, that's going to put them into um, second place, possibly. Yep, it's going to put me into second place because 352. Oh, no, third place um, because of the tickets. So they, they get three points for the tickets. So they go up. Uh, and then with the tickets, 530 plus the 352 that they've won today is 882. So your Rivka Witnesses would keep that second place just with seven tickets um, and high expectations. Low probability. They're just going to stay there. Um, so yeah, th there's not going to be much change there. Um, but yeah, what a great match! Very well played to Coalition Francophone. Second round was amazing. Um, shout out to that guy who got 15 kills. Uh, what was his name? Oh bloody hell! He kill killed half the team. I'm just looking now. Yeah, I can't f can't remember his name. But wow, what a great um, <laughs> what a great job he did. Um, 
15 kills in the first 15 minutes. He, he killed one person for every minute the game had been live, and the first couple of minutes the game's in staging. So he he had over, you know, just over one kill per every minute um, for that, that, you know, those first 15 minutes of the game, uh, certainly the time frame that they were in. So very well played now schedule uh, we are going to be back in two days time with another match it's going to be week three so we're going to be fighting on Mut Mutaha advanced and secure v1 and it's going to be the uh, Hazaria versus we love squad community uh, team um, they're going to be playing on Thursday their final team to play week three is misfit platoon versus band of bastards That's going to be happening on the 9th of July fresh off the press That is the 9th of July for misfit platoon versus uh, Band of bastards, so I know I'm streaming this Thursday make sure you uh, follow um, So that you can get the notification when we go live make sure you're on the squad community discord discord.io slash squad community cup all one word and join in be be ready for the announcements because uh, we'll be going live for another great match within the score community cup season five i've been a motive meerkat and zaya thank you for hovering about uh checking on things and we'll see you all next uh hopefully on thursday for another great match mm -hmm.